<clears throat> so on this problem, what we have is uh, we're trying to find the volume of this pyramid. Now remember, the volume for a pyramid, that has been whenever you have a regular base that, uh, that go ahead and approaches a point, Mario, the volume is going to be 1 third base times height. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is evaluate for the area of the base. All right. So you guys can see that the volume is base is a rectangle. I'm sorry, it's a rectangle. So we'd have 10 times 8. So it's actually not a regular base, but it's a rectangle base, which is still OK. So 10 times 8. So in this case, now remember, this can always change. If it's a triangle, then you'd have to use the area for a triangle. If it's cir um, circle, you'd have to use the area of circle. It's, everything's going to be changed, but it's you know, going to be different. Then times height. Now here's where we get into trouble because remember, when, bless you, bless you, bless you. Remember when we were talking about surface area, on surface area, we want to use the slant height. But for volume, we want to use the figure height. So unfortunately for us right now, we have a triangle that looks like this. And we know that this distance is 14. Well, that's the slant height. That doesn't tell you how tall <coughs> this pyramid is, correct? So if you look at this, the way that they had this pictured, and let me just verify that's exactly what they did. Yes. So if that comes, well, they showed you the dotted line that goes, that's in the middle, would go straight up, right? Because the height would go from the middle all the way up. So if this whole length is 8, then half of that, if that goes straight down to the bottom, would be 4. So now, if I have two sides of a triangle, can I figure out the third side? What's the right triangle? Yeah, of course I can. We'll call that h. So I'll say 14 squared equals 4 squared plus h squared. 14 squared is 196 equals 16 plus h squared. And then I'll have to do, yep. Well, actually. Um, 920, let's see here, what is going to go into that? Well, let's break this down. If I take the square root of both sides, I can say that's 9 times 20 equals h. I can break that down into 3 times 20. I can break into 4 times 2. I can take the square root of 4. Square root of 4 is 2, so it would be 3 times 2 times square root of 2 which would be 6 square root of 2 equals h. Mm -hmm. Just a little practice with how to simplify radicals, if you guys remember. Oh. I broke 180 into a square number, a product of a square number, so I could simplify the 9. The square root of 9 is 3. Then I broke up 20 into a set of square number, the, or the product of a square number, which is 4. I can take the square root of 4, which is 2. Multiply the 3 and the 2, so I get 6 square root of 2. Now again, guys, we don't need to, we're going to plug this into the calculator anyways. 10 times 8 is 80 times the square root of um, 6 square root of 2. You really actually didn't need to simplify it, but I wanted to make sure I, you guys remember how to do it, because you're going to plug it in the calculator anyways, so it really doesn't matter. Um, so let's just multiply this. Well, 6 times 1 third is going to be 2. So I have 2 times 80 times the square root of 2. And my volume is going to be 226 point, does it say round to the 10th? Yeah. 226.3 inches cubed. Since we're dealing with volume, it's going to be inches cubed. If you were just to do um, use square one square root of 180, that would work exactly the same as well. OK? So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, you can give yourself an M-A-T-R-H based on that one, however you did. You